Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am finally back with my monthly hauls. I did take a break from these just because I didn't have enough things at the end of each month to share with you. So today's video definitely is more of a collective haul. These are the things that I purchased recently and everything is seriously so cute. I always get excited to film my monthly hauls for you. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started with the video. So I first want to start off with clothing and the first item I actually did not purchase myself it was sent to me it was a gift from my friend Sunny you guys may know who she is the YouTube icon but she had a collab with this Korean clothing brand and this jumper seriously is so so cute guys even if she wasn't my friend even if I wasn't sent this I would have purchased one myself I literally wear this all the time so this is her bunny hoodie and it comes in white pink and black I have mine in the white. There's also two different sizing as well. One is a bit longer, like normal size, and then one is a little bit more cropped. My one is just the normal length, and I have mine in the white. On the hoodie, it has the little bunny ears, which is the cutest touch ever, and I feel like because this year is the year of the rabbit, it just fits so perfectly, and it seriously is so cute. I'm not even lying. I actually wear this almost every single day. I just feel like a white hoodie, like a zip pup hoodie is a classic and it's something you'll wear all the time quality is very very high it's so worth it honestly the price point on this is actually really really good i don't think it's too expensive for what you are getting like it's quality and it's so cute and you'll wear it every single day i've been wearing mine every day and i can't wait to meet her wear her collab hoodie together i'm gonna have a link down below i believe they do ship worldwide so yeah a big congrats to sunny on her collab speaking of merch i actually got another creator's merch this is angelo if you guys know him on tiktok so he recently came out with merch and when i saw her, i was like i have to get it and support him. He's literally one of my favorite creators. And I got the pink one that says literally and then on the back it says it's not professional and it's not ethical if you guys know him then you know like this is like his saying i think the pink is very very cute but you know even though i'm a big fan of his i will have to be honest about the quality i mean the quality is not bad like it is very very soft but it is quite thin and i did pay a hundred dollars for this and i've purchased a lot of merch in my time from you know celebrities from influencers and usually i can tell like what I'm paying is what the quality I'm gonna be getting so when I was paying a hundred dollars I was like okay it's gonna be like a little bit thicker but when I got it it's um, actually very very thin I would have been happy if this was about like 70 or 80 dollars then I wouldn't be complaining I mean I'm not really complaining at all I, we I wear this as well a lot like you guys I'm always in sweats I'm in this type of clothing all the time I know I look very dressed up right now but I am gonna go out and take some outfit photos so that's why I'm really dressed up so I'm not complaining that it's thin but just an FYI I mean it is sold out right now but if he does restock just know that it is on the thinner side and then talking about cozy vibes I got myself a new set of pajamas from Peter Alexander and I've had my eyes on this for the longest time you guys but I took myself out of it because I'm like girl you need to save you don't need new pajamas they were I think like $120 New Zealand and I was like girl just save it like you don't need it it's cute we know but you don't need it but what happened it was on sale for i think like 40 percent off or 50 and it came down to like 60 dollars and i was like okay me and my friend joy were like i think it's time you know we held off for the longest time we could i think it's time and we got it and it's literally the cutest pajamas ever guys so it is these thumper pajamas and he's like sitting on little clouds and it comes in this like pretty baby pink and blue the box is really cute as well I got mine in a size small and I'm obsessed guys. This literally is the softest pajamas I own. I will say it is on the thinner side but the material on this is so lightweight, so soft and it's like literally my favorite pajamas to wear right now because it is winter. Then for the next clothing items, like I said that this video is more of a collective haul so some of these items I got a while ago so you probably have already seen this in my videos but Flower Nose came out with their Moonlight 
Mermaid collection back in May, right? With Flower Nose, I'm constantly so inspired by their makeup and everything. And I always like to go all out with my looks for my review video. So I wanted to buy some new outfits because I don't actually have a lot of blue in my closet. Like blue is just... I don't personally feel like I look good in blue, so that's why I don't buy a lot of blue. But I just really wanted a cute outfit for this collection. So you guys probably already have seen this. But the first top I got is from a brand called Oslana. And they are Australian brand. And this stuff is seriously so cute, guys. And when I saw this baby pink shell pearl top, I was like, this is perfect for this review. Like, literally, the top is in a shape of a shell and then it has the pearl detailing and the material as well is sort of like a tweed material you cannot tell me this is the most mermaid top ever right like when i saw it i had to get it it definitely is expensive oslana is expensive but i was like you know for flower nose i'll do it it's actually really really cute but the thing is like this chest area is so big my little boobies cannot fill it so it's a little empty a little hollow in that area i think i could have done like an extra small but regardless it's super cute right like oh i just had to get it for that review video and then from cider i picked up a few things so i first got this like sparkly halter neck it's sort of like a duo chrome shade and like this is something i would not wear like personally this definitely is a top that i would wear for filming for looks but it's actually so pretty like look at all that dimension against my light i got this in a size small and then i also got this top which is really cute so it's like a two-piece set you get like a halter neck singlet and then sort of like a bolero type of thing that you put across your shoulders this is very cute too i will say it's a little uncomfortable to wear just because like it keeps rising up and everything but overall it's cute and like again the blue it just matched the collection perfectly and then for the next category i I have a few scented things. I recently went to a event and we got some gift vouchers for a chemist. So I went to the chemist and I was like, you know, I kind of want to get a new perfume. It's the Vera Wang Princess Perfume. When you look at the bottle, you, you can probably already tell why I got it, right? It's in a shape of a heart, okay? I thought the bottle was so cute. I think I paid $7 after using my vouchers, which is pretty good. I think the scent itself is not my favorite. It's very generic. It doesn't smell high quality, I will say, but the bottle and the packaging is so cute, right? And then actually the cap, like this is what I saw on TikTok, like when you take the cap off, you could wear it as a ring. Like obviously to me that looks a little tacky, like the gold is very yellow, but I mean that's an option. Like it's cute, right? Like it's a little cute novelty thing that you can have from it. And then my last scented things, oh my gosh guys, these are seriously the cutest thing ever. I got two of the pop Pucky Rabbit Cafe candles. These are the two that I pulled and it's so cute. This is the one that I wanted the most and I got it, which I'm so happy about. First off, the packaging, it's so cute. You have the lid and this one smells like, like vanilla coffee. This one is Rabbit Cafe. I think this is like the original one. It's seriously so cute, like these mini candles. And then this one smells like pumpkin latte. This one wasn't like one of my first choices, but I'm happy regardless. They both go on my desk. I love it. Isn't these guys just so cute? And then next up, I have a few things from Kmart. So Kmart over here is technically like a Target. Like they literally have everything. You go in for one thing, you come out with a bunch more. That's like the vibe of Kmart in Australia and New Zealand like I know I think Kmart is in the US maybe but it's just not the same vibe but over here Kmart pops off so I got a few things from Kmart over the past couple months that I want to share with you so I guess while we were talking about scent um, I actually got this literally last night it's this yellow tapered candle set so it comes with the vase and then two long candles so this is the little vase the yellow vase that it came in I'm really into color these days and then these are the two candles so we got the yellow and then we have like this pink purple shade that you can interchange which is so cute and you might be thinking like Judy yellow is really not like a color you usually get but I do have um, something else coming okay that I'll mention a bit later but 
this is the vibe of it, you know? And then I also got this face roller, like uh, ice. I mean, it's not ice, like a cold face roller they use in the morning. When I first got it, I did use it a lot. But now that it's like winter here, the mornings are so cold. I'm like, I don't think I need to depuff my face. I think my house is so cold that it's already depuffing my face. But it's just nice to have. And it's pink, which I love. Then I got two books from Kmart, which is so random. Like their book section actually is so good. I also got my Sudoku book from Kmart as well. But the first book I got is this pink self-care journal. Um, obviously the pink stood out to me. That's why I got it. It works great as like a decor piece as well. Like it's a very good quality, you know? But inside it just has like little tasks that you can write for yourself. I have started it a little bit. I definitely need to get back into it. I'm on page 35. And then this last book, I was so surprised to see it came out. It's just so beautiful. But it is this Coco Chanel illustration book by Megan Fisk. And I just thought it was so, so pretty. I have yet to like really go through it, but the illustrations in here is just beautiful. It's so beautiful and it gives you stories about Chanel as well. And I just want to like take my time and read through this and learn more about the brand. Chanel definitely is like my favorite luxury house. Like I just love the pearls, the tweed. Chanel number no. five is my go-to perfume. I just love Chanel as a brand. So I just had to get this book and it's just so pretty, isn't it? Like it's a beautiful coffee table book. And then coming on to the last item of this haul, I got a new cold cup from Starbucks. As you guys may know, that's another thing that I like to collect is Starbucks cold cup. And cold cups are pretty expensive in my opinion. Like they're about like $30, $40 depending. And I don't collect one from every collection. I only collect the ones that I like the color of. And we did get a new collection here in New Zealand. And it's not typically my color story. Yeah, it's a little bit bright for me, right? Like the mint, the yellow, and the pink. But I am going to be that creator that's dropping hints and can't say anything about it. But I do have a very special project coming out early next year. And this is the color story of it. See, like, color story. It could be anything. And I just feel like you don't really see a lot of merch or a lot of things come out in this colorway. So I was like, when I saw it, I'm like, this is literally the colorway of my upcoming project. I have to get this cup, even though it's not typically what I usually would gravitate toward. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's literally the same color story that I'm envisioning for my project. I had to grab it. Um, and this one is actually quite nice because it is insulated. It's not like a plastic one. So this has been my sippy cup for the past month or so. And that's why I also got, you know, these candles, this colorway. So vague, it's so vague, but I guess I'm just letting you guys know something is coming. So maybe save up now so you'll be prepared when it does come out. But yeah, you guys, that essentially was everything that I have purchased over the past few months. I think it's from maybe... April, May, June. So the past three months, these are the things that I have purchased recently. Let me know what was your favorite item out of the haul. I would love to know. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching as always. I love you so much and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.